Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am discussing some fun things that were announced at the Ringside Fest, the festival to announce uh, stuff, I guess. Uh, uh, some exciting things were announced today. Uh, I guess we'll go over it real quick. Uh, they showed a little video that showed all the new figures we can expect to come out in the future, starting off with edge um edge looks pretty darn cool i really really like this gear uh of course it comes with two fists and a leather jacket and uh, it's uh one of those gross plastic jackets that nobody likes but it is a really really nice attire and you have the short haired edge uh which uh honestly looks weird it's a good sculpt edge with short hair just looks weird that's my only issue with it uh, but it looks good nonetheless, so I'm excited to have that in the future. Then next up we have a Austin Theory. This looks pretty cool. He comes with the, I guess, kind of the meme face that he made when he uh, uh, took a selfie smiling all crazy. That kind of blew up on the internet. And then he has an O face, of course. Uh, we have uh, uh, two gears. This is the, uh, chase variant. Uh, Austin Theory is the only chase variant. He comes with the Captain America gear and this regular black gear that looks fine. I, I don't know which one's the chase. I believe the black gear is the chase, but either way, the, uh, the Captain America gear looks really good and it comes with a cell phone. Then coming up next, we have a Gunther. Not much to talk about here other than the fact that it's a nice looking Gunther. Uh, he's, a nice figure to have just kind of boring i hope he comes with his uh what jacket he wears um that would probably help this figure stand out a little bit then next we had a Rhea ripley this was um back when she had to create an attire just thrown together for her uh judgment day group um and it looked pretty decent uh i love Rhea ripley i could watch her all day long so i'm excited to have a figure for her she has some weird hands, so I, I hope those aren't the final hands, because they look pretty, like, crab-like, I guess, or or they look very odd, so uh, hopefully we get new hands for her. Uh, we got another look at Sammy. We've already seen Sammy at the, what was it, the Mega Powers Hulk Hogan thing that happened not too long ago, uh, but this is just another look at the render that comes with the uh, mouse trap. Of course, they mentioned they wanted to get the hand in there, but the hand wouldn't fit in the package, so we got this instead. I think I would have preferred the hand, and I'm pretty sure they could have made it work, but I digress. We got this. It looks uh, pretty good. It has a weird face. Other than that, everything is reused from the other semi we got not too long ago, so kind of, eh, right there, but uh, anyways. Next up, we have Commissioner Mick Foley. This one is a bit of a mixed bag for me, personally. I think I've been desperate for another Mick Foley in the line, and I have been waiting for a Mankind, Dude Love, something with this new FX technology, with the double-jointed elbows, all the new stuff that we have to play with, and we get this. And it looks weird. I think it's mostly because of the render that makes it look weird. I think, in hand, it, it should look better, but it does come with a lot of accessories we have. Uh, two thumbs up hands, a gavel, gavel hand, a uh, plant. Uh, they mentioned he has a rubber shirt, which which sucks, but he also comes with his plaid uh, soft goods, which that one's really cool. Uh, next up, we had a blue Tista. This is a bit of a weird one. I This was one of the first uh, elites I've ever owned, uh, the blue Tista. Uh, so it's kind of weird seeing it remade, but I mean, it's kind of cool uh, to see it remade. You know, it has all the nice new details that uh these modern figures have the true effects the double jointed elbows all that stuff and swappable hands of course so uh i'm not too disappointed by this it's it's just an odd choice and whatever i'm excited to have it a nice modern day batista that's pretty nice uh after that we got a harley race uh king harley race this looks like a reuse of the booker t uh king of the ring attire with the robe and the crown but then you get harley race so if you're a Harley Race fan, there you go. He looks pretty decent. Uh, then after that, they showed off the Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins. They showed it. Looks much better in color. I know we saw it at the Mega Powers 2-pack uh, <laughs> launch party, whatever. I don't know what that's called, but they announced a lot of stuff there that we also see today. 
Uh, it looks much better in color. Of course, we've already seen it, and uh, it, it we get to see the other head sculpts and the attire and everything, and it looks pretty good. We also get another look at the Andre the Giant. He has four different head sculpts, and uh, they made sure to mention they had, uh, I guess he does a weird wave with his hand, so they made sure to have that along with his Ultimate Edition. They uh, talked about these, what are these called? The the Micro Buddies or whatever they're called. I don't, I don't collect these, so I don't care, so just skip right over that. And then they teased us with uh, Mankind with the thumbtacks in the back. And that sounds pretty awesome. They also announced the Defining Moments is making a return. So that's pretty spectacular. This is a Ringside Collectibles exclusive. So um, I guess that's the only place you can pick this up. But like I said earlier, I am desperate for Mankind and Mick Foley and all that stuff. So this is, uh, well, this is Mankind with the thumbtacks in the back. So that's an interesting detail. I believe this will be what the Hell in a Cell Mankind when he got thrown through the cage and that fight with the Undertaker, uh, the most famous match of all time, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, so yeah, we get we get that, and that's pretty much where they left it off. Uh, I wasn't going to mention this, but since I'm making a news video, I guess I, I'll throw it in there. We also got to see some. Usos yesterday. Um, this was already covered by pretty much everybody in the YouTube scene, but we got to see two elites for the Usos. We got to see um Jimmy and Jay as elites, and then they announced they are also getting ultimate editions, which is odd, but I'll take it. Um, more modern ultimate editions. I'd I'd love that. They kind of had their focus on the more retro. Figures, Hulk Hogan's, Macho Man's, Randy Savage's, all those guys. And it's been a bit of a bummer for people who collect modern wrestlers. And it feels like here lately, uh, they're giving us quite a few modern wrestlers. So it's nice to see the Usos uh, get some Ultimate Editions. As weird as it is, I wouldn't have picked them first, but I'm glad to see it regardless. So that's pretty much all we got for the past two days it's it's been a weird week of announcements i wasn't expecting anything to get announced i thought we were pretty much done with news for the year but i guess with toys the news never ends so uh that's pretty much it for me thanks for watching and i will hopefully be back again very very soon bye